Well, welcome all. For quite some time I've been contemplating getting a uh, time code generator such as a uh, tentacle sink uh, or one of the other ones that are available but tentacle sink seems to be the most popular one uh, in use. However, I've been uh, somewhat uh, balking at the, uh, the cost of these units uh, given that they're around 350 or so Australian dollars and all they are is a single uh, use uh, item and uh, you know, that's uh, actually more expensive than my uh, recent uh, mobile phone that I bought and so I'm not really keen on uh, spending that much money on uh, such an item. However, um, I just sort of uh, then realised that the Blackmagic Pocket 4K uh, has uh, both the timecode input and output and uh, so has the Zoom F6. So I did a bit of a test uh, with it and uh, discovered that uh, it's actually uh, quite easy to uh, input timecode uh, via the camera into the Zoom or the other way around. I've got it currently set up so that it goes from the camera to the Zoom and I'll explain why shortly, uh, which will give you uh, some ideas on how you too can do time coding without having to buy these expensive uh, single use items. Now all you have to do is just basically have the camera on and you've got it, I've got it on record right now. Plug in a three and a half mil cable into the input socket, which is the time code socket on the Pocket 4K and do similarly with the zoom, plug it in and we've got time code uh, matching up precisely with uh, each cam camera and the uh, audio recorder. Hopefully you should be able to see uh, the changes there, um, but it works. I've done some testing and uh, it actually does uh, quite a good job. In the ca this case, I'm actually recording this uh, video into the zoom and uh, using the time code uh, to join it together with that. Now that's one way of doing it, and that's actually quite a good way and a simple uh, way to do it. However, there is another way which is uh, far more versatile and will in fact work with uh, uh, any sort of a camera, cinema camera, especially with time code input or any uh, zoom or audio recorder that has time code as well. And that is using a mobile phone with an Android app called LTC Time Code Generator. It's a free app. Uh, that uh, also comes with a paid version which offers a few more options but this one uh, does pretty much everything that I need and it works quite well. All you have to do is connect the 3.5mm input into the camera and you can see there's a little run thing, all you have to do is run, starts, it's now input the time code in there, pull that out, put the 3.5mm plug into the uh, audio recorder, press run, and I think it's now got it, yep. Starting, there we go. It was that quick that I missed it in the first hit. And now it's uh, got time code going into both the camera and the uh, audio recorder, synced in with the uh, mobile phone uh, time coding, and you can actually use this on multiple cameras. Just plug them all in, and you've got time code uh, going through to all of the units. Now, what's interesting about uh, uh, the Pocket 4K and the Zoom is a lot of people say, as soon as you take the battery out, you have to uh, reset time code. Now what I found was that if I briefly turn off the, uh, the camera or the, uh, the audio recorder, I don't lose the time code. Um, if there is a loss, it's gonna be in about a hundredth of a second or so, which is basically neither here nor there. And I can just demonstrate that. Turn the camera off. Turn it back on. So turn it back on, I'll just uh, start the recording again so I'll get the audio for, for both units. And uh, the time code is basically the same. I can barely see the difference there because of the speed of the, uh, the hundredth of the second one going, but uh, it seems to work quite well. And the same with the uh, audio recorder. So you can actually turn it off briefly if you need to change a battery or whatever without actually losing um, any significant amount of uh, uh, time code between the two units. So I found that rather uh, interesting. So. Anybody who's actually interested in getting time code, I'd suggest you try that. If you uh, do have units that uh, uh, enable input or output, or if it's just input on uh, your camera, then the uh, an input on your audio recorder, for example, then that mobile phone app might be what you uh, really need. And it's a far less expensive uh, option than buying tentacle sync. And uh, I think it should work for you. It seems to be working for me, um, certainly in the stuff that I do. And uh, now I've just saved myself quite a bit of money by not having to buy a tentacle sink. So that's all I've got to say for uh, today, and I uh, hope to see you again. I'll say cheers.